In this video, I'm going to show you how to dial in Artisti Coffee Roaster's brew recipe and get your coffee tasting just as good first thing in the morning as it does in the afternoon. Hey guys, I'm Jimmy. Welcome back to the Artisti YouTube channel where we guide you through all things coffee. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and the bell icon so you get notified of all future videos. Today, I'm gonna to talk you through our Tisti Coffee Roasters brew recipe. This is what we set up for our espresso bar. We train this with all of our wholesale and cafe partners. And we wanna show you how easy it is to get yourself back into your recipe so you can be making great coffee throughout the whole day from that first coffee of the day. Now, part of this recipe is there's a whole lot of elements to this recipe. It's not just the, co it's not just the recipe itself, but there's a lot of elements that go into it that make up our recipe. Now, we've done a whole nother video on making your own recipe. We'll put a link to that below and above. And you can build your own recipe based on your coffee and your machine and everything. Today, our recipe here at RTC Coffee Roasters, we use the Lamazaco coffee machine, Cinoart uh, tamper. We've got the Anthem SP2 grinder, Champion coffee beans, and they're around seven to 10 days old, ideally. And that's a big part of the recipe as well. We all will also have our pre-infusion turned on our coffee machine. So with all that in mind, our recipe for Artisti and our Champion blend, it's 22.5 grams of coffee in our basket as our dose. We're gonna get 45 grams of yield in our cup. And we wanna achieve that within 30 to 32 seconds. Now, I'm gonna walk you through those steps today. And the main thing that we're adjusting, and that is our grind. So dose is one thing we can keep consistent. And we have this set up here with our dosing pots and our scales, so that is consistent every single time. And all of our accounts are using dosing pots and scales now so that we're consistently dosing the right amount each time. Now the buttons, we're not gonna go into programming today. Programming is a whole nother ballpark. And that's something that you really want to rely on your roaster. If you're one of our cafe partners, we'll dial this in for you, set up all your buttons and make sure that you're good to go. And dialing in your recipe will get you back to that being the correct setup for you. But if you need those buttons programmed, um, maybe contact someone that can do that for you. All right, so let's get stuck into it. But before I do, I'll let you know if you hang around to the end, I've got a little bonus for you that's gonna help you be able to manage this with your staff and throughout the day. So, firstly, dose. Let's think about this grinder. We wanna make sure that we're cleaning out one chamber at least so that we can really see the reflection, the, the true reflection of the grind setting that we're on. So, I'm just gonna dump one of those. That's gonna mean that the grind that I'm gonna to use to check my recipe is going to be correct. Now, dose is something that we can easily manage and we can easily maintain throughout all of our grind settings. Now I'm aiming for 22.5, I'll be happy with that, but let's just, let's just take a little bit out of there. On point with our recipe, prep our puck. I will just check my yield. Now if you're getting yields that are way off your recipe, I'm aiming for 45 grams of yield. If you're getting 30 grams of yield, even in 30 seconds, that's not your recipe. So you wanna make sure your yield is on point as well. If, again, if you're getting 60 grams of yield in your cup in 30 seconds, that means your recipe's wrong and you have to get that factor right. So again, talk to your roaster. If you're one of our cafe partners, you wanna make sure that you're coming to us and letting us know. Great. So this shot, I can see it's come flying out of the gate a couple of seconds in. It's dropped really quickly and we're just about there. Great, so we've got a 25 second shot. We did still get our 44.4 grams of yield, so yield's fine, but time's out. Dose is correct, yield's fine, time's out. So what I've got there is my coffee is too coarse, the water's getting through the pump too quickly, and it's not spending enough time to really get the best flavor out of that coffee. So I'm gonna change my grind to go finer so that I can reduce the particle size and slow down that extraction. So I would say that extraction is under extracted and it's gonna have more sour notes than I would wanna get out of our coffee. 
Yeah. Oh. Now, if you say you're going to change the grind, you got to change the grind. So that is the same as the last one. So let's go much finer. Now, for the example, I want to make sure that I'm nice and fine to see what that change is. Again, these grinders have grind re retention in them and you want to clean out that chamber. If you use that, it's going to look the same as the last one and it'll drive you nuts because eventually your changes will kick in and you won't be able to see them. So we're just going to clean out that head of one and this will be the one that we're going to check. Be aware that some grinders will actually hold on to two, two heads worth of coffee. Cool. Again, dose is consistent. Good preparation. Let's just double check our yield while we're at it. Tear that off. Now in this extraction, I can see that we're, we're running a little bit slow. We dropped, but we are dripping. We're not quite um, flowing as smoothly as I'd like. But again, let's just check our, our time. So we're getting to our optimal time here, 30, 31, 32. Cool. So I actually got 32 seconds. 43.7 grams of yield. I'm reasonably happy with that in my, in my extraction and, and my actual recipe that I'm trying to hit. So what I'm gonna do is actually just make one more change to get myself more to that 30 second mark of the 32. Today is an overcast day and I know, I know our coffee well and I, I know that it tastes great at 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna make one more small change and we'll see if we can hit that, hit that number. So this is the fun games we play as baristas we just are perfectionists and we want to get it right. So I'm going to speed that up a little bit more. I'll go coarse again, dump out one of those grinds. I wanted to keep it nice and real for you, otherwise we can't make it all look too easy. It wouldn't be true. Now remembering, you've got to actually dump out the grind. Don't get too distracted. getting any dripping or not running too quick so obviously as you learn your coffee and how to read it you can keep an eye on your shots from start to finish and be drinking your coffee make sure you know what different moments taste like and things taste like and you know that if you're adjusting your recipe to suit you know you're going to hit that flavor that you're chasing which I've finally done I've got 30 sorry, 31 seconds. I've got 43.4 grams of yield, which if I re really wanted to, I could program that button, give me that extra bit of yield. But at the moment, I'm gonna roll with that. And that will be delicious, artisty coffee. Guys, that is the game we play, dialing in our recipe. We do that in the morning. We do that at 6 a.m., 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. at least throughout the day. We train this with all of our cafe partners so that you can go get a great artisti coffee in all of our accounts. And this is something we wanna help everyone do. So click on the link below. There's a downloadable PDF that's got uh, this sheet that's gonna help you manage your decafs, your single origins, and your blends. So you can dial them in throughout the day and you can share that with your staff. And if you're a business owner, it's really gonna give them something to, to stick to daily and you can get them to do their checks and you can check up on them. But if you're a barista, it's just something that you want to maintain. You can look back at that data and know that you're nailing it and what changes you're making day to day to achieve that. Guys, I hope this has been helpful. 
We look forward to making some more videos for you, so be sure to put some comments below if you've got ideas for future videos. Be sure to like the video, hit the bell icon so you get notified of all future videos, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Bye.